my show. So today's video is gonna be odd because I don't really know what the I don't really know what the title of the video is gonna be, but it's gonna it's gonna be just know you you gonna get where I'm coming from, but just bear with me. I don't know what this title is gonna be. I don't know about the bus lady thing, probably like crazy bus lady. I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all the story and I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Yeah, so. Once upon a time, oh please, this happened like some time ago. Not some time ago, but last last year, but sometime. But I'm gonna tell y'all about this crazy bus drop. Now, one day I was at home getting ready, putting my clothes on. See, I think if me and this bus driver, we don't really get along that well because we have ups and downs that's why I don't really ride a bus now but yeah I was getting ready I'll get my clothes on and whoop to do I did all of that so then I got to school you know you know you get your clothes on you go to school and then you come out of school now this is where the problem happened as soon as she picked me up like and then she was like, there was, you know, COVID and out was out then. And she said, no talking on the bus and let's talk quietly. And then I, so, <laughs> who am getting ahead of myself? So this lady was taking me home or whatnot. But she, she, but she wasn't at my house. I mean, she stopped, cause I was like, I think I was talking, there was a person right here on the bus. And her name, she's a different color than I am. And then I was me, I mean, I was here and she was over there on that side. So me and her was talking, then she like, full break, full break, stop the bus. And then she said, who's that talking back there? And then I, and then somebody said, well, me. First of all, don't be no, <laughs> This food hard as hell. My bad. Oh. What are we talking about? My bad. Hold on. My bad. Oh, uh, anyway. So she mashed on the brake and then she stopped the whole bus. And then she said, who was that talking? And I said, I was. And then she's like, and then she was looking through a glass mirror like mean. And then she was like, and then she was like, come up here. She like, come up here to the front. And then I was like, I stayed in my seat. I stayed in my seat. And then she said, don't make me drag you up there. Now, hold on. You don't say you're going to drag a black person if they don't do what they supposed to do. Do not put that word, Brad. Do not say the N word. I know you're a white person. If you a white person, do not say drag. Do not say N word. You better not say the N word. We might call you a cracker, but don't say the N word. Cause unless, unless my bees gonna be flying everywhere, you call me N word. See, don't do that. Okay. Now them, you say that word, hands really gonna be thrown in. So don't. So just keep your mouth shut at that point. But yeah, she said I'ma drag you up there. Like I look, I looked at, I looked at the girl that who I post been talking to. I said, I said, well, who she finna drag? And she's like, and then she was like pointing at me, and then she said come up there. So I went up there. So I went up there in that front, and then she didn't say nothing. So then she just took us home. So as soon as we got to my place. Lord have mercy. When we got to my place, now, my place, she stopped the bus. And then as I got up and, and then I got up and then I said, I said, why would you move me instead of moving her? And then she said, she said something to like, like I didn't see her talking and whatnot. So, 
you saying that you put me up here because I was talking, and but you ain't gonna move the girl that I was talking to up there too, but you gonna move the black boy. See, the girl was white. No, she actually like Mexican. So, but instead of moving her, but you gonna move me, you should've moved both of us. That would've made more sense. How you gonna move the person that was talking, but you ain't gonna move the person I was talking to? Like, don't, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make the, make the damn thing make sense. This shit hard as hell. Like, make it make sense. You hear me? I see confusion. Don't let it com be confusion. Don't let it be confusion. I mean, too. Like, okay, she was like, I didn't see, the, she said, I didn't see the other girl talking. I had been talking to somebody, and you telling me that you moved me up there because I was talking to myself? And then she was like, because I seen your head moving like, you, you, you must be out of your damn mind. How you gonna move me up there to the front? But I ain't gonna move the other girl. You know I was not talking to myself. I know there's some people out there that talk to themselves and yeah, people talk to themselves. I talk to myself sometimes. People think I'm crazy, but that's not the point. Especially I'm on the bus with people. Like, come on now. Like, okay, so then she, and then she said that, she said you better stop talking back or I'm gonna walk up in your house. Now, she said that, you better stop talking back before I walk up in your house. This where I jumped in it. I put my hand on my hip. I bet you did, I did, we did, you put your hand up on my hip. Then I did, you did, you know that song. I put my hand up on my hip and I told that woman, who, who house you finna walk up into? And the boy, cause I was finna get ready to fuss out this lady. Cause I don't know who she thinks she talking to. I'm not a white person, I'm black baby. So, so then that white boy that was behind me, like, I was dead in this woman's face when she, when I was about to get off the bus. Like, this white boy, he was behind me, he said, ooh, like, shoot, <laughs> don't make me make a scene on this bus. But yeah, so watch who you talking to, especially me. And then she was like, don't make me walk up in your house. Like, who? I put my hand up on my head and I said, who house you finna walk into? Who house you finna walk And then she said, your, and I said, oh, I, Okay, I said, you see it. We'll see about that. I said, we'll see about that. And then, so I got off the bus, and then she flew on. And then she flew on. But then, when I got off the bus, she said, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. You coming back? Uh-oh. You coming back like I'm scared of you. Bitch move. And then, she went off with the bus. She took off real fast. And then, and I was as mad as hell, cause she did not move the other girl, but she gonna move me. Like, that's racism. Knowing that she another color, and I'm black. Like, don't do that. Make it make sense. So then, so then I got on, I got in the house fussing like crazy. So what I did, I called my phone. Wait a minute. I called my phone, and I called my phone, and I called the right one who the first two. I called Nataja. Nataja, y'all follow her on Instagram and stuff like that. I, I leave it down here below. But anyway, I called and I told you, and I told her everything. I told her what this woman had said to me and how she didn't move the other person, but she gonna move me. And then I told you like, I forgot what she said, but yeah, she was like saying stuff to me and that's not right and stuff like that. And then she, well, she was just really laughing on the phone until like I was still on the phone with her and then I had called my mama I got the phone with her, and then I called my mom and tell her what happened. And then she said, let her come in our yard. And you know black folks don't play, especially moms and dads. So, so then as I got off the phone with mama, I called and I told you back. I was in mama room just talking, just fussing away. And then, and then something like the dogs were barking. And I said, oh my God, let me see what these dogs barking back. And I told you said, and then I, and I tell you, was just still laughing on the phone. And then as I walked in the living room, I looked out the window. There's a there's a long ass yellow bus in front of our house. And I said, Oh no. 
I said, Lord have mercy. I said, no, this woman did. No, she did. No, she did not pull up in our yard. No, that big old bus. What is that bus doing in our yard? No, she did not. And then, as I remember, they were just confused and just fussing. I'm really fussing now, especially on the phone with Natasha. So what I did, I got off the phone with Natasha. I called my mama. Like my mom was like. My mom was like, uh, let me check the video cam. And then she checked the video cam. The bus was out there. And then, as the dogs were still barking, like, this woman gonna come. She gonna come out her bus. Now, she knew better. Now, one thing you don't know, you don't, you don't go to, you don't pull up in nobody's house that you don't know. Uh-uh. Because, first of all, you messed up. See, I wouldn't have made that scene for you to show up at my house. If you moved the other girl with me, if you would would have moved that other girl up there with me, then we wouldn't have this whole discussion or problem or situation. You understand? Clearly, you don't. So, boo hoo for you. All right. So, so then as she walking down the stairs like she big and bad and stuff, I said, "Look at you!" And then she all that. So she got up the stairs. Then she knocking on the door. Some what? She just knocking on the door. I didn't answer. She said, hello, hello, hello. She just, she just knocking on the door. Knocking on the door, saying hello. The dogs were just barking. I didn't say a word in the house. Until my mom got on video cam. Cause we got like a camera and you can speak to it and whatnot. Shout out to Ring, by the way, by the way. Uh, anyway, so as she over there, my mom over there talking to her, saying that, talking like, uh, like, why you move my child, but instead of the other child, and then she said, and then this is what the woman had said, and I was like, listen, she said that, because I seen your son doing this, and then that I saw him talking to another person, and then my mom said, why you didn't move the other girl, but you moved my son instead of the other girl, and then she said, I didn't see the other girl talk. She said that, um, on the phone, well, she said that out loud. Well, my mom could hear her. Now, at this point, you're just looking stupid. You're just looking stupid. I'm sorry. I hate to use that kind of language. But at this point, you're just looking sad. You're just looking stupid. You're just looking crazy. At this point, crazy white woman. Crazy white Karen. That's what you look like. At this point, how you gonna move me? And how you gonna tell my mama that you moved me instead of the other girl? Like, you actually told that to my mama's face. Like, you really try oh if she was if my mom wasn't at work and it and we were there at the house like it would have been a big mess but anyway my mom was like that's not right that's plagiarism or something like that because you could move me but you didn't move the mexican i was talking to and then she said then she put her hand up on her hill outside i said oh look at you trying to be all bad and stuff and then she said well i didn't see the other girl move and then she then my mom and her just kept going back and forth at it. Until the white woman got scared at this point. Cause my mom had said something very smart to the lady. I forgot what she said, but the lady was scared. So so she went on back to the book. She said, have a nice day. So I forgot what my mom said to her. They made her say, have a nice day. And then it's like, yeah. And then she went on the bus and left. So if anybody going through that, racism, that's all it is. Black folks can't even get a break once in a while. So that's all it is. Hispanics, black, Mexican, Indian, all of us, it's like we can't catch a break. But these, but these so-called Karens that want to act crazy toward black folks, like you better mess with the right black folks, but you don't want to mess with the wrong ones. So the Romans will say something bad. Cause I didn't even get to eat my food all the way. Shit, they was anyway. So. so like I said, if you going through something where a white boy calling you the N word, or if if a white teacher moves you away from the black folks, but they move nobody else, then you should speak up for yourself. I wish somebody would move me away from my friend. It's gonna be a hell of a fight. It's that like still hard as hell. But yeah, like I said, be you who you are, who you are, 
Oh yeah, y'all like my braids. <laughs> School started, so yeah. And I got some more videos up on the way. I got some more videos coming. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little eating, even though I didn't get to eat shit. But yeah, hope y'all still enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, icebreaker. Peace. Now I gotta do me all got uh 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 oh who 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 said what oh you said what bam all right I'll see y'all in the next one.